That, so, that, that was a not so rapid, rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 uh, to be specific, because I know you have limited time, and you talk about movies. It's like okay, so what's your favorite noir movie then? So that's a specific question. Makes to make it easier. Favorite noir movie? Ah, oh, that's tough. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe surprise you. And instead of talking about a classic, I'm going to talk about what I consider to be a contemporary classic. Oh, okay. Right. Um, uh, not much talked about movie, but I think is a masterpiece, is um, The Road to Perdition. The one with Tom Hanks? I think it's uh, Sam Mendes. Yeah. Um, Thomas Newman's music is wonderful. Um, I think the photography's, um, uh, gosh, Roger Deakins. Um, it's actually based on a graphic novel, which is little, uh, not well known. Um, uh, I mean, the fact is not well known, not the graphic novel. Um, but I, I think it's a, it's a master, it's a modern masterpiece, uh, uh, and it's just so beautifully uh, put together as a film. Uh, great performances. Um, maybe the performance of, uh, of Tom Hanks that made me begin to appreciate him in his, in his sort of older career as opposed to his younger phase which uh, was hit, hit and miss for me. I agree. Film was kind of ignored. Um, pardon? Film was kind of ignored. Yes. I, I think it's a wonderful film. So there you go. So that, that's, that's your modern one. How about a classic one? Oh, that's tough. Um, that's tough. I... Uh, oh, how about this? Another yeah. rapid fire one. No, oh, okay. Um, double Indemnity or Out of the Past? Uh, probably. Uh, I actually don't know Out of the Past. You I love them. I love Double Indemnity. Um, About Laura. I don't think I've ever seen that in its entirety. With Clifford Johnson and Dana Andrews. Because <laughs> you look like a noir character, Professor. <laughs> do I? Yeah, you do. You do. Uh, thank in a, you. In in a um, not parallel. I'll, how about this alternative universe? Perhaps. <laughs> Back in my um, uh, days when I lived in climates that allowed you to wear more interesting outerwear. I guess I was uh, hugely into interesting hats and long coats. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the hat man over here. I'm Excellent. sorry, I just had to get, you know, yeah. can't dress in a suit all the time. Yeah, but no, I, I, I can go back to, um, you know, going back to the, the, the question of, you know, comparing various, various, uh, various noir films to each other. I. I have I have difficult I, I I think of them almost all as a as, they, a, 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 as a as a as an entity as a library of wonderful pieces that I find it hard to pull them apart. You're uh, saying that they exist in the same brain world? Um, no, I'm not saying <laughs> that. And so one of the things I probably should do is revisit um, a lot of them and just go back and enjoy. Uh, Looking them, looking at them again. It's been a, it's been a while since I've really explored some of those classics. Um, but you know, as I'm talking, great things are, are falling back into, uh, in, into my mind. You, know, but you prefer Roach Perdition to L.A. Confidential, for instance, which was much more notoriously uh, successful. Uh, uh, L.A. Confidential is a great film. I love it. Um, but um, uh, the Road to Perdition is simply a beautiful film. It, it, it's it, it's um, it's, a quite it's a whole film. other it, it's a whole other kind of thing. I, I don't even think of them in. It, it, this is the first time I've ever in my mind had them in in the same sentence uh, because I, I I enjoy them both, but I just think it's a totally different. Well, the ones are very quiet. But though. you use an important thing, uh, uh, an important word, which is quiet. Uh, I I have become much more. I always was, but I've become even more. Um, uh, respectful of quietness in things, um, whether it be visually or um, uh, in the entire uh, tone of of, uh, of of the film uh, that's going on, or, or or book or what have you. And so the the, the film I made um, uh, with my collaborators for the uh, the fiftieth anniversary of the Aspen. Center for Physics, for example, one of the things I wanted to get away from was the standard sort of documentary on scientists, which is, is just too busy and it's too, uh, too, um, too noisy, too, too, you know, too, because somehow there's this, a, there's this thought that if, if you're going to keep someone's attention on science or scientists or what have you, that you've got to keep, you know, 
showing shiny objects and, and, and making loud bangs and showing gee whiz stuff. And uh, I actually think that would have been completely uh, missing the tone of the place itself, which is quietness, which is a retreat. And so a film about it had to be done in that style, in my view. So that was one of the main things that I tried to do when I was doing a lot of the design and writing for it. Silence is the most beautiful sound, huh? <laughs> Attention spans are not exactly modern. Yes, but um, I, I think uh, it, you know it's 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 a it's a tension that you always get in uh, in, in in filmmaking, especially in areas that are uh, meant to be to do with documentary or what have you about, especially about science topics, which is that oh, you've got to keep people's attention span. There's this, this great fear that people are going to just change channels. And that's fine, but it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy if we keep making products which are of that nature, because then people come to expect that. So I think someone's got to push back um, uh, and, and, and start making and green lighting things that are just quiet places uh, for people to uh, just let it unfold. Um, my blog is another example of that. I, I, I don't try and run my blog as this pizzazzy sort of news site, chasing after all what the new the new uh, stuff is and trying to get lots of sort of yelling and screaming and what have you. Uh, that, that, that's, that's just gotten so boring. And, and so for me, um, I like running my blog as a, as a place where people do, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch off all that other stuff now. And I'm just gonna sort of browse through and see what's been going on and uh, uh, you know, have a, maybe get involved in a quiet conversation or what have you. In your music, and you play a brass in instrument, correct? You do you play trumpet? I, I play trumpet, although I, I these days um, because I have played seriously so little um, in the last several years, I, I now just say I own a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you go to a lot of these jazz shows, by the way? Blue Note, any of the classic jazz bars? Because I know you mentioned in your Asentosha, um, your friends and. Uh, but are you still active in that scene? Well, I've never been active in any... I, I'm, ju I'm just a consumer, like, uh, like everybody else, or most everybody else. Um, I love um, whenever I get the opportunity to go back to some of the jazz clubs I used to hang out in uh, way back. Uh, uh, way back in the 90s, for example, in New York, of course. I always mm -hmm, go. Catalina's is a fairly um, nice jazz club in Hollywood. Yeah, I like Catalina's. Um, I wonder if you ever got to see Jeff Buckley, if he was out in New York in the 90s. Possible. Um, it's possible. I saw a lot of stuff, a lot of people. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I I tend to not be a huge fan of the dinner jazz model, which uh, is extremely prevalent over here in yes. LA. It yeah. for me buys into that sort of business of, well, we can't have a business model where people just love the music and come and sit and listen to it. So we've got to have this other thing for them to do because. There's a lot of people who think of jazz as this sort of background thing that you can come and have a conversation with. We were almost with too young for the, the Parisian room, but that was a really nice place. Oh, I, I don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. So, so, um, so I actually, for me, my favorite jazz clubs are, there's nothing else but the stage, some chairs, and people loving the music, and, you know, maybe some good whiskey. And, uh, <laughs> that, that for oh, me so is the it. jazz bakery was a nice club, but they, yeah. there's nothing to drink. The, the, no, the food or anything. no the, the 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 jazz bakery when it when it existed yeah. um, uh, indeed uh, that had a little a little bar you could buy some things and take them in and a, and a and a suite of amusing plastic chairs mm -hmm. um, uh, that unfortunately uh, that unfor no these would be fancy chairs fancy, compared fancy to the chairs that, that uh, <laughs> were at uh, the jazz bakery but it was a place where the 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 people who went when they showed up. Mm -hmm. um, there's a problem with attendance of right. jazz in LA, but the people who went really loved it, and they were there for nothing else. They were prepared to sit on those those those, those chairs and just soak up the music. Um, rumor has it that there's a you know the jazz bakery is coming back in, a, yeah. in, a, in a, another venue of, according to their site. That that's been in the news for a couple of years. So um, uh, hopefully they'll keep running it in that way. Having said that, I love the Catalina. You can have the, in a way, it's a good hybrid. You have the, you have the, uh, the, the sort of, the dinner jazz aspect of it sort of 
the tables with people eating dinner and what have you behind. You can hear the clinking of the mm -hmm. knives and forks and what have you. But um, if you ask them and you show up in time, you can sit at those chairs right at the base of the stage, That's and, what I always and, said, uh, and then you can just forget about that mm -hmm. stuff behind. So I think it's a good it's a good hybrid model of uh, what's possible. I saw Jimmy Scott there and at uh, the Jazz Baker. He was equally good at both places. Great, great. And, th and that's it, Professor. I'm just this. That was, that was great. You're di oh, okay. you're dynamic. Oh, am I? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, even though I'm uh, 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 um, having a sore throat. So, um, what time is it?